welcome by Auntie Zo. Hello, hello, hello to you and you and you. If you're wondering who this is, this is my niece Kwangi and she wants to say hi to all of you. She is so excited to be a part of Kids Church this evening and we hope you are too. We've got an exciting evening planned for you so that you can draw closer to God. And before we begin, before we sing songs, listen to the story and do our fun activity, let's open with a word of prayer. Shall we close our eyes and bow our heads? Father, this evening we just want to thank you that you have given us this time where we can all just come together from different parts of the world, different parts of the country and listen to your word. Father, we pray that you would open our hearts to receive what you have for us today. Be with each and every child and their families who are watching. And Father, we pray that you would just bless them. We pray that you would keep them safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we hope that you have a fun evening today. Singing time with Uncle Neil. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus 
Jesus is born and he's such good news. We want to shout and sing and worship the King. Shout and sing and worship the King. Shout and sing and worship the King. Jesus is born and he's such good news. We want to shh. Let's hear the lesson by Auntie Nicole. Today is the month of December. All right, and you know, December is all about the festivities of Christmas, which is just around the corner. And we're readying ourselves by decorating our house and doing all kinds of wonderful things like that. Well, I would like you to guess what my, what do you think my favorite Christmas decoration is for today? Well, do you think it is the Christmas tree. Well, this Christmas tree is pretty sweet. You know what's so really, really nice about it? It actually also acts as a candle holder. So what I do, and that's what I did. That's not something good. <laughs> Don't do that at home. Well, I've put in a light in there. And if you look at it closely now, it's lit up. It's like a candle with this tea light. It's really wonderful. I love it. Let's just put that right here. Okay. But much as I love that little Christmas tree, and maybe you have a bigger one at home, um, it's not my favorite Christmas decoration for the day. Well, what about this wreath? I love the green. Look at that. So Christmassy and so good. And it can make any place in the house so wonderful looking. But unfortunately, much as I love it and it's beautiful green, it's not my favorite Christmas decoration of the day. Right? Because look at that. Do you see these fairy lights? I put them in there and I have it over there right in front of me and my other decorations and right behind me. You can't see it because it's kind of light outside, but I have some lights sparkling there as well. I just adore fairy lights. I just love them. They're so pretty. Um, well, I don't know if you're like me, but unfortunately, no, that's not my favorite decoration for the day. My favorite decoration for the day is the star. Now this star has been used every single Christmas and it's made out of foam kind of thing. So it's kind of breaking up. I need a new one, but I'm just gonna keep this one for now for the next year. Let's see if it kind of, you know, survives the year because I've used it way too much. It shine, it's shown, it, it shines so brightly in my heart that I've kept it all these years. It's been like two, three years. Well, this is my favorite decoration for the day. And why is that? It's because in this Christmas story you are going to be listening to today, the star plays a very, very special role. All right. Why is it playing such a special role? We're definitely going to find that out. Well, first of all, let's start with the prophet Isaiah. Ooh, that old, old man of long, 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 long time ago, the story that you will find in the Old Testament of the Bible. Well, guess what he did? He announced and predicted that Jesus was going to be born 
way back when, before we were born, before you were born, before Jesus himself was born. This prophet Isaiah already knew and told everyone, the Messiah is going to be born, the Savior is going to be born. All right, so... And what does the star have to do with that? Well, that's how special the star was. The star was going to point some very important people and some very smart people straight to Jesus. That's how important the star is. All right, so who are these important people? Can you take a guess? Yes, you're absolutely right. They were the wise men. All right, we don't know how many wise men there are. You Oh, you say three? Well, in the Bible, it doesn't really say there are three of them. We just assume there are three. Why? Because there were three gifts mentioned when Jesus was worshipped by the wise men. One was gold, the second frankincense, and myrrh. Three of them. So we just concluded that um, Jesus, the wise men who met Jesus and came before him and followed the star were three. But it could be any number. Be that as it may, guess what? These wise men used to study the stars, astronomy, all kinds of intelligent and smart things. And they found out that this one star is going to lead them straight to Jesus. And one day they see it and they're like, what is that? And then they realize this is the star that's going to lead us to Jesus, the Messiah, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And wow, they were so excited. They got their camels and all their belongings. Well, the things that they can carry on the camel. And then chung, 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 they followed the star and this star led them straight to Jesus. And that's where they were, they were able to worship him and give their gifts to him. And, and they were just so excited about it. And then we're gonna watch what happens in this story about the special role this star played in the lives of the wise men as it pointed them to Jesus. Meanwhile, in the far distant lands of the East, wise men who study the stars mm -hmm. saw something new in the sky. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. Not at all. It was entirely my fault. Uh, no, it was me, really. I wasn't looking where I was going. I was noticing that star. But so was I. What a coincidence. I was too. I study the stars. So do I. Uh, so do I. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my oh, dear. I am from the Far East. Ah, I am from the Near East. I am from the Mid East. Have you ever been to the furthest east? Yoo hoo! Wise men! <laughs> Down here! <laughs> you fellas wouldn't by any chance happen to know where that big fat star came from. This was just what we were wondering. We've never seen that star before. It's a completely new star. Unless... Unless... The star is a sign from God. Of course! Oh, my. A sign, a sign from, from God? God. Wow. That has to be it. The star is a sign from God? <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? You see, it is said that a new and bright star would be seen in the sky when the new king is born. Really? But there it is, the new and bright star. It's also said that if we follow that star, it'll lead us to the new king. A new king! He's come at last! A star is a sign! So, are you going to follow it? Absolutely. Positively. Certainly. As long as it takes, no matter how far, guiding us on to the child, the chosen one. Starlight, star bright, glimmer of hope, glorious 
sight Shine on, shine on into the night Lead us to our dream The newborn King Oh yeah What will we see? A palace of gold Royalty Maybe he'll shine Just like the star wise men and bring us the news. So the wise men traveled far from the east. They kept following the star, never taking their eyes off it, not knowing where it would lead them. Look, the star is over Israel. We should go to the king's palace in Jerusalem. The newborn king must be there. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. I am so sorry to wake you, but the most unusual thing has happened. Tell me what it is already. And it better be good or I'll have you locked up. Yes, of course, Your Majesty. It's just that there are wise men visiting from the East. Yes, yes, and? Well, they say they have come to see the King. So, send them in. <laughs> they say they've come to see the newborn King. What are they talking about? Do they think I was born yesterday? Perhaps they were thinking there was another king. Another king? Absurd. Ridiculous. How can there be another king? And if there is someone pretending to be a king, I want to know where he is. He'll be sorry, I'll tell you that. Yes, Your Majesty, of course, Your Majesty. But what shall I tell the wise men from the East? Tell them to get lost. No. On second thought, get my advisors and hurry. Advisors! Advisors! Get in here! Yes, Your Majesty? What do you know about this newborn king? Oh, has he been born? Has who been born? The king. I am the king. We mean the other one. What other one? The one you speak of. The one I speak of? I don't know anything about any king, except that everyone else seems to know about him. Why wasn't I told? Nobody tells me a thing. But we didn't know he was born yet. Who? The newborn king. <sighs> okay, if you're so smart, just where is this newborn king? The old stories say he will be born in Bethlehem. The stories say that, do they? That'll be all. Send these wise men in at once. Who told you to stop? Keep those fans going. And the rest of you, get back to work. Your Majesty, I present the wise men from the East. King Herod, 
We have come to meet the newborn king. And where did you hear of this king? We saw the star that God put in the sky. A star? From God? A beautiful star. A bright star. A sign from God. <laughs> we knew that if we followed the star, it would lead us to the new king. We want to worship him. This new king is not here. Then where is he? He's in Bethlehem. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe you should go find him. Yes. See what I care. Go try and find him. And if you do find him, come and tell me where he is. I would like to worship the new king myself. Enough of that! When the wise men left the palace, they looked into the sky and saw the star once again. Look! There it is! On to Bethlehem! The wise men followed the star right into Bethlehem. Up this way. Come on, everyone. Come see the newborn king. And there, right above the manger, was the star. The wise men knew they had been guided to the right place. We've traveled from distant lands to celebrate the newborn king. May we come in? Please. We knew the baby was born because of the star. We followed it all the way here. We have brought gifts. The wise men gave Jesus gold and sweet-smelling perfume and incense. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for letting us worship the king. We thank God for his great wisdom. He has sent us his son. Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king. Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king. The wise men never did go back to King Herod to tell him the good news about baby Jesus. Everyone rejoiced and thanked God for sending them his son, the new king of the world. Welcome back, boys and girls. Wasn't that such an awesome story? Did you see what the star did? It pointed the wise men straight to Jesus, and it led them to be able to find him and worship him. And that is why the star was so, so special. And as you can see, we can also be stars. I have the star right on my head and wearing yellow to match. Well, basically, even if you don't wear yellow, you and I can be a star. We can be the ones that point people to Jesus. And the way we can do this is by saying and telling them how much God loves them. We can show it in our lives, we can show it in our actions, we can show it in our speech, the way we speak to people, we can show it in our thoughts, the way we think about people, we can just lead people by example, or just show, tell them the love of Jesus through the Christmas story, that Jesus loves them so much, and that's why we can be a star. Okay, let's all of us say together, I'm a star. All right, let's do that together again. I'm a star. All right, yes, absolutely. You are a star, I'm a star, and we're gonna shine our light across to everyone that comes around us so that we can lead them to the love of God. Guess what time it is? Yes, you're absolutely right. It's memory verse time. 
Memory verse, here we come. Where is the memory verse going to be from today? Well, Pinkie Paws and I today are going to do it slightly differently. You can check it out on your screen, but I'm going to, Pinkie Paws decided that we should open the Bible today to read the memory verse. The memory verse will come from Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Was that right, Pinkie Paws? Yes, not it. Yes, 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 yes. Pinkie Paws says, it's Matthew 5, verse 16, and this is how it goes. Let your light shine before men. Remember this star. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Let's say that one more time. I'm sure you will be seeing it on the screen. If you would like, you can go grab your Bible and see it for yourself, just like Pinkie Paws and I have done. All right, that will be Matthew 5, verse 16. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Great job, guys. Don't forget that you are a star and you're going to shine your light before men so that your Father in heaven will be so happy that you're telling about his love to other people. All right, give yourself a round of applause for paying such great attention to wonderful words of wisdom. The world is searching for an answer, a ray of hope in a hopeless world. Who can we turn to? Our last craft for this year is going to be this star, like what we learned today. So I'm going to teach you how to make this and this is how it looks and you can even close it and fold it up and store it till the next Christmas season. So let's get started. For this craft, you're going to need some colored paper, 
you'll also need things like a pencil and um, a ruler you'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need some glue in addition to this you will also be using a punch now i'm going to be using a design one but you can use a normal one or cut out shapes on your own you'll also need some thread or twine and a toothpick these are all the things we need to get started but we're going to get started with our paper first so we're going to take our three sheets of paper and we're going to be cutting all of them into squares we're going to take one paper and cut so we will get six squares out of three papers but we're only going to be needing five for this craft so i folded my paper in half and the next step is to fold each half into a triangle to determine how much we'll need for our square so along that line which i'm folding we're going to be cutting down and we'll have two squares if we do that so i'm taking my scissors and i'm cutting along that long line and i've also cut the rectangle in half and now we have two squares i'm going to keep them aside and i'm going to do the same thing with my next two papers as well so now i have my five squares that we'll be needing for this craft so you should also be having five squares at this point but now i'm going to show you how to make each point of the star so i'm going to get started with one so this is the square we'll be working on for now so watch carefully how that line along the middle is going to be the center i'm going to fold in a triangle type of piece inwards and it's going to just go a little beyond the line as you can see right there it's not on the line but a little beyond it so i'm going to do that on both sides so the two sides or rather the two triangles should have an overlap i'm going to do this and fold it down firmly so that it stays in place so you can follow along these steps and now i'm going to take my glue and stick it in place just like this remember to press it down properly so that it doesn't come undone so i'm grabbing my glue and i am sticking it in place now the next step is to take your ruler and place it where i'm placing it right there and measure 4 cm down that point that line that we have we're going to measure 4 cm and draw two diagonal lines to the corners of the piece so we're going to cut along these lines that's what the lines are for they're just guidelines for us to cut along them and so you can copy me and just cut along like i'm doing so this is how it should look now and now i'm going to take my ruler once again and measure 2 cm this time so we just have to cut off 2 cm from the tip of our piece so we're going to measure 2 cm like i said on the side but down here it's going to be a measurement of 1 to 2 cm approximately where i'm going to draw a line straight down just like that so this line is going to be where we cut along but don't cut off too much just follow along how i will be doing it and you'll understand what i mean so like i said i'm cutting off the 2 cm from the tip of the pieces and i'm also going to be cutting along that line i had mentioned before just like that cut along that line and cut out two triangle pieces like i'm doing from the side so i hope you were able to follow along that step now i'm just folding down the pieces on the right which are basically these flaps that i've made 
So I'm folding them down on one side of the piece. But on the other side, I won't be folding them down like this. I will actually be cutting them off. And this is actually because we will be sticking this point of the star to the other four points later. So this is how it's looking after I've cut off those sides. And the next step is to actually punch holes into the star so that if you do choose to put a light source inside, it will shine through and give off a nice effect. So I'm taking my punch, but you can use a normal one if you don't have one or you can just cut out shapes if you'd like. But I'm going to be using this for now and I'm just going to be using it to make five holes in one point of one star. Now your point should also look something like this. I'm going to make the other four points of the star and you should go ahead and make yours too and we'll see each other after that. So these are the five points of the star. Now we are going to be putting them together now. So I'm going to teach you how you can put them together. It's a little tricky but with some glue and a little hard work we'll be able to put this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two and demonstrate on them first. So you're going to keep one point on top of another and insert the flaps that we had cut out into the other star, the inside of it. So it might take a little work but if you followed the measurements on all the stars, it should be easy. So I'm taking my glue and putting it on the outside right there like you can see and I'm just going to simply take it and do what I showed you right now put it inside like you can see right there and press it down and stick it firmly make sure to use a strong glue take help if you need it but um, all you have to do at this stage is keep adding in each point of the star in the same exact way. So you're going to follow the steps again, apply the glue, insert it into the fold and you're going to do that till all five of your points are attached together. So I'm going to be doing that as well and I will see you after I have completed doing that for all five points. So this is how it should look after that. So these are all five points attached together and it won't, it's not a star yet but <clears throat> we're going to use a toothpick to make it into a perfect star. Before we do that though, we're going to trim the edges of the last star because we don't need to attach it to any other point. We just need to open it up to make it into a star now. So cut those pieces off and bring back that toothpick to poke a hole on both edge pieces and now as you can see I'm making a small hole at first but accordingly I will make it bigger if required. And I'm going to make sure to make the hole bigger. So make sure to make it bigger but not so big that it will pass through. So I took it through that hole and brought it out the other side 
taking it in through the other hole. I think that makes sense. But this is how it should look if you followed along in that step. So now you can pull the strings together and the closer they get, the more it looks like a star. So eventually, whenever you do want to hang this star up as a reminder, you can just pull the string together, tie it up and hang it wherever you'd like. So this is how it will look when it's all tied up and hung. And this is our final craft. So I hope you enjoyed making this star with me. You can hang it up wherever you'd like. And I hope that whenever you look at the star, you remember the Christmas story and the significance of the star. So this is the last craft for this year. And I hope it was fun and easy to follow along. So we come to the end of our kids church today and I hope you really really enjoyed it and go and tell others about Jesus right and now we are going to be taking a little break from kids church for a while and so we hope you will enjoy your holidays and maybe you can watch the previous episodes which you haven't or you can relearn all the crafts and the memory verses and the songs and so we hope to see you again someday bye bye